Hi, I'm Houston Haynes. We're here at my studio to show how the SmartAV Tango works as a front end to Steinberg's Cubase. We're going to build on what we've already shown in the Cubase Chapter 2 video and actually build on that to show the care and feeding of send and insert effects. The most direct way to select a plugin is to go to the insert section of a track and go into the active channel area and select the desired slot where you're going to drop in a plugin. Next, select the Change Plugin button and you'll see an entire list of VST plugins update. If you have more plugins that can be displayed on one panel, subsequent plugin lists will be generated, and you can page through them and find the desired plugin. Simply touch the name of the plugin, and then press Change. The plugin will load, and you'll notice that the 16 encoders on the right of the Tango will show all of the available VST parameters for that plugin. Also, notice that the plugin might open up over your workspace when it's initially loaded. This is controlled by a preference under VST, Plugins, Open Effect Editor after loading it. Having a VST open by default is a matter of personal taste. It can be helpful to have a plugin chase the position of the change that you make on the Tango's front panel. Once you've dialed in your settings, you can press the window button on the active control area and close the plugin. Anytime you want to go back to view the plugin, this is a quick and easy way to pull up the desired insert. In many cases, a plugin will have more than 16 parameters, at which point you'll use the page navigation to find the desired parameter to set or automate. Notice that certain parameters, such as bypass and effect on off, operate on the turn of the right-hand encoders. This can sometimes create timing problems when automating, so instead of using the turn pot, go to the Active Controls area and use the Insert Parameter button to switch the value cleanly. The setup of SANS is not much more difficult than instantiating an insert on an audio track. Essentially, it means setting up an FX channel and, of course, placing at least one insert. Once that's done, you can route your existing tracks to it. Or, if you have planned ahead and created your FX channels first, you can then set the preference under VST or connect sends automatically for each newly created channel. Then, when you create your channel, the sends will be auto-instantiated. From there, all you have to do is dial in to the send section of the channel, press the rotary encoder to turn it on, and then set the send level. You'll also notice that the eight rotary encoders in the fader section will chase to the selected send, which makes it a snap to move down the line and set the send levels for tracks in groups of eight at a time. The power and utility of ergonomic spreads also comes into play here, where you can quickly set levels for channels that aren't side by side of the mixer, but the Tango lets you rearrange them in any order to get an apples to apples view across your work. If you're creating the FX channel after you've laid out your audio channels, things get a little bit more involved, but can be quickly dealt with with a bit of edit panel navigation and a quick trip to the Cubase mixer. After you've created your FX channel, open the mixer with the extended section showing, then select View Sends. From there, you can move down the line and select the appropriate send for each track. Once that is complete, then you can close the mixer and use the rotary encoders on the Tango to set the levels. In most cases, I use a project template that already has 8FX channels set. With the Connect Sense parameter, the sends are already populated in any audio track that I might create afterward. It's certainly simpler if I start that way. If I end up needing fewer sends, then I delete the FX channels from my project when I'm near the final version. This concludes our introduction to plug-in control with the Tango. We hope you got something from our whirlwind tour of insert and send management in Cubase. Don't forget that all of these examples also apply to Nuendo. There are quite a few things you can do on the host side to speed up the workflow, but we'll save that for some one-shot videos that you'll find on smartev.net. Check out the website for updates and more information, and thanks for watching.